Hey everyone, it's Jen over at jenscrappypages.blogspot.com and today's project is this sweet little card that I made using the Bella and Friends stamp set. If it looks familiar, it's because I created two others uh, similar to this using the same stamp set, same colors, same ribbon, uh, different embossing folders. Um, but if you would like to see those, if you haven't yet, I will link to the description on my uh, YouTube channel so you can see both of those and I'll also link to the posts in my blog for this. Um, before we get started, I wanted to put a shout out um, to you guys for subscribing to me. I hit 100 subscribers today and I just cannot tell you how much that warms my heart and I feel very honored that um, you guys would like my stuff enough to want to subscribe and follow me um, and my journey through Stampin' Up. So I wanted to do a little uh, giveaway in honor of my 100 subscribers. Um, if you go over to my blog between now and Monday, March 6th, and leave a comment on my blog for a chance to win this uh, Tasty Trucks stamp set. So, uh, jenscrappypages.blogspot.com and I'll put it again at the end of the video. So, on to business. The products that we used um, for this, well, that I used um, for this project were the Pool Party uh, Satin Ribbon um, and I'm just a big fan of this stuff. I think it's so beautiful. Uh, of course, the Bella and Friends stamp set. The Sparkle embossing folder. The Stitch, Stitched Shapes Framelits dies. I can't speak. Um, and the Layering Squares Framelits dies as well. And these are the two that we'll be using from those. Um, for ink, I'm using a basic black and then Pool Party and Watermelon Wonder. And then we're also going to be using the Wink of Stella, just a small touch of it. And in order to color um, the little collar and heart, we're just going to be using an Aqua Painter with the stamp pads. So paper, move this over here you're going to uh, need a five and a half by eight and a half pool party cardstock, a two and a half by two and a half, and a one by four. And then Whisper White, you'll need a four by five and a quarter, a five eighths by four, and then I do my stamping and coloring uh, when I do watercolor on the Whisper, or on the Shimmery White cardstock which is a two and a half by two and a half. So let's get stamping first. This card shouldn't take too long at all. It's pretty simple. So we're just going to take um, the basic black and um, just stamp somewhere in the middle. Uh, hopefully somewhere straight. I'm trying not to get my head in here. Well, I guess I'm just going to stamp. <clears throat> that looks pretty darn good. And then let's get out the handy dandy big shot. All right, so we'll put Miss Bella on there. And the scalloped one is going to go on this piece. And I cut these so they just barely fit. This one you'll have a little bit more room, but not much. Alright, and then next we're going to go ahead and take our embossing folder. And there's no special rhyme or reason to this one. So just throw it in there and run it through. Alright, so here's our little Miss Bella. And let's bring in our pool party stamp pads. Squish that little pad together. 
and I'm going to make sure you don't want a lot of water on your water brush so just make sure you have you don't want it too dry but um, you also don't want it overly wet because we have just this little teeny tiny area here to color in and then I'm just going to go over it one more time to kind of darken that up a little bit that should be about right and the same goes for your watermelon wonder and then we're just going to color in this little heart here and again you don't want a whole lot of water might let that dry for a second and then I'm just going to come back over it just to darken it up just a little bit there that's all you need for that and then I'm going to come over it with my Wink of Stella just to give a little touch of sparkle to it and she's done easy peasy so let's put her aside for a second and we are going to go ahead and fold or score your cardstock, your pool party, at four and a quarter. And then I'm going to build up on the white piece, on the Whisper White first. So I guess I'll just move that over. So you're just going to want to put this down here in the middle of that. And then there. Sometimes I wonder if I use too much adhesive. Um, this is going to come down a, a little over an inch down from the top but you know I don't I think I and maybe I oh see there I go I'm, I'm stumbling and um, that's just me and how I talk every day I start sentences and I never finish them and oh my goodness um, I guess what I was trying to say sometimes I think I use too much adhesive but then I think well you know if I don't use enough is it gonna stick or so um, I kind of go back and forth with that. I don't know about you guys. Do you use it like in just the four corners or do you, you know, take it all the way down like I do or do you have any favorite method that you find saves you money on buying stock and adhesive? I just want to make sure that when my recipient gets my card that, you know, it doesn't fall apart five minutes after them getting it. So I'm just going to throw some Stampin' Dimensionals, which is another thing I need to buy stock in, because I use these things multiple layers almost every single card. And that's just going to go here. Like that. And then we're going to Go ahead and adhere Miss Bella onto this square. I really like how it just has a little peak of scallop coming out from the edge of it, you know, just enough to give a little extra color. And you see that sparkle in there? And then um, more dimensionals and I, you know I find with these two I'm kind of the same way um, if it, even though it's a small square I feel like all of my corners need to be evenly you know set on there can't just put you know one in the middle and have it all wonky and I forgot to stamp but I think we should be okay so this is just going to go, I think I put that down a little bit lower, but you know what? I actually think I like this, where this is versus, this was my original card, which I actually think I like that one down there a little bit better with, you know, more room at the top. 
um, doesn't, you know, kind of comes down here and doesn't make it look as dark as that. All right, well, I'm going to grab the um, stamp. All right, let's see how well I can get this stamped on um, with all of it up. I guess we'll just kind of go down and hope for the best, huh? Oh, yay! Not too shabby. And, it, you know, it still looks okay, even though you're sp uh, stamping over these dimensions here. So the very last thing that we have to do now is, I think I'm just going to run this here, um, is I'm going to go ahead and tie my bow. And I have a hard time talking while I'm tying bows. Well, maybe not. Maybe I try to talk just so it's not that awkward silence of watching me tie a bow. I mean, I guess I could fast forward, but you know, what if you want to learn how to make a bow and, and I'm fast forwarding and you can't see what I'm doing because it's too fast. So, um, I think that's about right. I think I'm going to leave that. This one looks like it could come in just a little. Let's see, then I got to tighten it again. and It's kind of this never ending <laughs> fight here with this. So I'm going to call it good. We're going to cut it and be happy with what we've got. All right, there. Ooh, that one's a little long. All right, there it is. Let's see if I can get it up here so you can see it. Isn't that cute? I just love the dimension of the sparkle embossing. Um, and it's just, you know, simple. But that Bella sure is cute, and I think she makes the whole entire card. So thank you so much for watching. And also thank you for subscribing. And uh, for again, for following me on my uh, journey with Stampin' Up. Um, if you would like to go ahead and go over to my blog, I will have printable, downloadable instructions for you, um, as well as links to my other two cards using Miss Bella. And don't forget to leave a comment on my blog for a chance to win the uh, Tasty Trucks stamp set. By um, I'll be doing the drawing on Monday, March 6th. So have a good day. Bye.